Good morning, class. Learning and discovering new things is such a pleasant way to start the day. Since Teacher Jewel is not here, I will be teaching you. My name is Teacher Britt and I will be standing in for him. In this video, we will cover a lesson about recognize the natural sign of an impending tsunami. But before we begin our lesson, let's first engage in this brain training exercise. Four picks, one word. Look at the following pictures and tell me what you think they indicate. You have 10 seconds to figure it out. Your time starts now. Time is up. If you correctly recognize the picture, you probably already know what our lesson will be all about, and it is tsunami. But in the end of this video, you're expected to learn these competencies. Competencies Identify what is tsunami and seizures. Where is a tsunami most likely to happen? Can animals sense an impending tsunami? How can we reduce the risk of a tsunami? And the different signs of an impending tsunami? Let's first define tsunami. So what is tsunami? Tsunami is a Japanese word that means a sense of great sea waves caused by an underwater earthquake, landslide, or volcanic eruption. More rarely, a tsunami can be generated by a giant meteor impact with the ocean. Let's take a look at this example. This picture is the tallest tsunami ever recorded in Lituya Bay, Alaska, USA in 1958. After a 7.8 magnitude earthquake 30 miles away, a 1,720-foot tsunami higher than the Willis Tower in Chicago loomed over Ituya Bay. After we define a tsunami, let us also define a seiches. So what is a seiches? Seiches are like small tsunamis. They occur on lakes that are shaken by the earthquake and are usually only a few feet high, but they can still flood or knock down houses and tip over trees. Here are some questions that we want to answer in this lesson. Did you know the tsunami is like as fast as a commercial jet? Yes, commercial jet. Where the ocean is deep, tsunamis can travel unnoticed on the surface at speeds up to 500 miles an hour, 800 kilometers an hour, crossing an ocean in a day or less. Let's take a look at this example. Many witnesses have said a tsunami sounds like a freight train. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami could rank as the most devastating on record. More than 200,000 people lost their lives, many of them washed out to sea. Where is the tsunami most likely to happen? Every coastal area and river estuary is potentially threatened by tsunamis, but they are most likely to happen on shores facing directly a megathrust. Third, can animals sense an impending tsunami? In any case, Many people witness unusual animal behavior before tsunamis and even earthquakes. Let's take a look at this example. Animals may get scared by the sound of the wave approaching or by micro tremors generated by the tsunami. In any case, unusual animal behavior in your vicinity should always be taken as a warning. Fourth, how can we reduce the risk of a tsunami? We can reduce the risk of an impending tsunami by knowing its warning signs. Lastly, what are the signs of an impending tsunami? We can detect tsunami using our senses. Feel, see, hear. Feel. If we feel around shaking severely for a long time, severe ground shaking from local earthquakes may cause tsunamis. See. If we see unusual disappearance of water, a tsunami may be preceded by a rapid fall in a sea level as the ocean recedes. Hear. If we hear a loud roaring sound, abnormal ocean activity, a wall of water and an approaching tsunami create a loud roaring sound similar to that of a train or jet aircraft. Do you have questions? Any clarifications? If you do, simply post your issues on the comment section of this video and teacher Britt will thoroughly address them. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs>